Hi guys and welcome to another quick video tutorial here on my Manny Photography blog. My name is Manny and you most probably know me from all my tutorials in the Photoshop tutorials and Lightroom and all the stuff onto Photoshop. Now in today's tutorial I don't really want to show you guys anything about Lightroom, Photoshop or anything in that way. I just want to show you guys quickly how to create a Mac icon. Now on my Mac I currently have a few programs that I use to get that icon and this morning I found a super nice tutorial on how to create an iCloud icon so I'm going to show all of that and yeah let's get started okay first thing that I did is I had to download pix to icon program which you can download on Google just go into Google pix to icon type that into Google search and there are loads of free uh, spaces where to download that program it's very small and very nice to have okay so download that program then you open it and install it and it will pretty much look like this. Uh, it has a few options over here. I never really worked with these options. Maybe just under settings I added always create a drop shadow. But for this tutorial I'm going to turn it off at the moment. It's not that nice always to have it. Okay, so back to progress and pretty much that's how the program looks like. So next step what I do, either I have icon already or what I mostly do is go into my Safari browser again and go to iconachieve.com. Over here, iconachieve.com. In here, you can type anything that you like. I just did social media for now and hit search. Okay, and currently it's searching for social media icons and as you guys can see, I do have a lot of social media icons already in front of me. So for the tutorial now, I'm most probably just going to say work and search for icon that has work. So whatever icon you are looking for, say pen or work or house or whatever you're looking for, you can search all of these words in this icon achieve. They got thousands of icons and really nice icons as well. Okay, so let's just go through here. Say for instance this, I love my work mark. This looks really awesome. So I want to have this icon as my work icon on my folder or something. So I want to take this icon and put it as my icon. So what I do is just go onto icon and directly download that icon cup and it will be downloaded to my desktop. Okay, so I'm going to minimize that. Minimize my Safari browser over here and minimize that and I can directly see here's my icon cup and I have it as an icon. Downloaded that. But it's still not as an icon as I wanted it. I wanted just a normal icon. So how do I get rid of this white border? Yep, that's why we need this program called Pix to Icon. Because now you're able to just take your icon, drag it over here into this box, and now have a look. When I release it, have a look. Whoops, it directly jumps into a normal icon without a white border. And wow, that's exactly what I wanted. So this program, Pix to Icon, helps me quite a lot. Okay, so next step, I can now go right click, new folder, have a folder and my icon. So how do I get my icon onto my folder? I select both of these and just hit right click, go get info. Directly all these infos pop up. And in here, I'm able now to select the icon over here, say command Z. And over here, select the icon and command V to paste that again. So copy, paste and directly it has been overtaken to your new icon. Just have a look sometimes. If you can't copy it, it most probably has to be set to read and write everywhere here or read under your uh, profile name. It has to be to read and write and open the lockdown here so it's able to copy it. Then do the same over here and paste it. Okay, if I'm going to close this again, you can directly see nice this icon has directly been taken over to my new folder and I'm still able to just rename that folder to say work or whatever. I've got a folder already called work so I'm going to make two dots there just so it renames OK. Now I've got my whole folder with a new icon I renamed to work and it looks pretty awesome to me. OK, so I can also take it now and drag it down to my dock, put it into my dock and have it in my dock and always just fall back onto my folder here or work with it like that. or burn a CD, whatever you want to do with your icons. Well, for me, it's just pretty cool because I'm an icon junkie, yes, a big one, and I just love to have icons. It's more fun at work and really nice to have. Okay, last step that I also still wanted to show you guys, if you want to create your own icon, I'm going to go into Photoshop quickly. You can pretty much go back to File and you can go back to New, create a new canvas over here, new document, and in here, what I mostly do is my width 128, height 128 pixels as well, resolution uh, 72 dpi, color profile sRGB, and that's pretty good to me. Gonna rename that quickly just to icon. Okay, gonna say okay that, and I have a new canvas over here. Now, 
if you want to create a really nice looking icon I can just uh, let you guys know go to Safari go to this guy Ash Davis he created a really nice uh, icon on iCloud with aluminium icons and he shows you a, a whole tutorial on how to do it it's pretty awesome I watched it this morning and it's very, very good so if you want to learn how to create your icons go to this guy and just have a look it's really really awesome all right now my tip what I just want to show you guys quickly while you're doing an icon or say you imported your logo and you want to do it quickly as an icon just bear in mind when you do it say for instance this black thing the black box is your icon always turn off that layer down here your white layer so you have it on transparency your logo so you just see your logo say that say the black box is your logo so you will just have to have your logo on a transparency background and now when you save it you go to file save as and down here the format you will have to go to PNG save it as PNG rename it to icon whatever go onto your desktop and just say down here save and you saved it and now PNG options also interface none okay that I'm gonna minimize Photoshop quickly and over here we've got our icon now so say for instance this is your logo icon and you want to have that icon on a folder so what you can do again is go again to pics to icon drag that icon again onto this box drop it and have a look directly it pops into there and we just have a black box and say for instance this is your logo now you would have only your logo with no white background or even no white border around it okay make a folder over here same process as again I'm gonna select both of them go to get info and in here again black box I'm able to say command Z command V copy paste that if I'm gonna exit have a look wow now my folder is also in my black box currently our logo really awesome and handy to have so if you like to have a desktop with your logos and your icons on there to impress your clients or I don't know work quicker work nicer have more fun in your working environment do this get this easy program called pics to icon and it's really really awesome well thank you guys for watching my name is Manny and see you in the next tutorial bye bye